Hello everyone. This is the second tutorial in the tutorial series of how to use LaTeX for typesetting your papers and stuff. So in the second tutorial I'm going to talk about how to write a paper using LaTeX. So the first thing, same document class. For this I'll use conference and my type is going to be IEEE TRAN. I'm using IEEE TRAN, but you can use any other class that is provided by your conference. So conferences usually give you a class that you have to use. And this IEEE TRAN comes packaged with the bundle. And I'm pretty sure for your conference, there is a class too. Just find out what is the name of that class and you'll be able to use it. Okay. Now here I have this open. So um, we'll save this also there in the quick latex here and I'll call it latex for IEEE paper. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. The second thing again begin document and document. Now title is absolutely necessary so I'll put a sample IEEE paper by quick latex dot blogspot dot com. Then after the title for each paper you would want to put the names of the authors. So you start an author block here and inside that the first thing you would want is the names of the authors. So that is given by I triple E author block. And this block is for names. So you can put the names here author first, author second. And if you have more authors, just put a comma and then keep adding. Then you need their address I triple E author block address that would be department name blah 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 oh if you want to put it in the next line you can go university name blah blah state zip code and whatever you want to put and finally you usually want to put the email too um, okay so I'll stop it here and then I'll close the author block. So there we go. That's one way to do it. Then after this you go make title. So this will create your title. So let me see if we can get it right. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's not that bad. I'll bring it in the frame. Okay. So it doesn't look that bad. Now the next thing is in abstract. So for that you go begin abstract and abstract now here let me just copy something okay I'll write long abstract so that we can actually I just copy paste it because I did not want to type so much now this is your abstract and let me try to run it here so yeah abstract is coming out nice and abstract is usually 200 words so I won't add more here now section the first section usually is the introduction uh, yes. so you put the name of the section here within the curly braces then you paste whatever you, is the section about so I'm just gonna copy stuff for section there is no end section because there is no begin section so section that's it and to start a new section you go section again here you go methodologies and I'll again paste everything so control s control t so you see introduction and methodologies so those two sections are there now Sometimes you need to refer 
in the methodology section, the introduction or in the introduction section, you need to specify the methodology, sec methodology section. Pardon me. Okay. Okay. So now um, what we will do is I'll refer the methodology section here. But for that, I need to actually give this section a name. For that, I'll create a label for this. So the way I create my labels is for sections, I start with the prefix SEC colon and then the name of the section. Similarly, I'll do this here slash label. I'll call it intro. Makes sense. Now, if I want to use that, um, the rest of the paper is organized as follows section slash ref so to use that section you start slash ref so you're referring to that and then within the curly brace the name of the section and whatever you want to type you can type more so let's see if it works okay you see section 2 methodology and it actually picked that name now usually when you're using these ref use a tilde here what it does is that it creates a non-breaking space so if you're two then two that appears because of the section number if it goes to the next line section itself will go to the next line too so it's a non-breaking space so it is a space but it's non-breaking so it, the entire thing is considered one whole word okay so this is uh, how you create the introduction and methodologies now the third thing is mm, how do you add references to it? But I guess this is going over time, so I'll cover that in a next post. Have fun, guys, and leave a comment if you have any question. Thank you.